Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor version 3, REST API Development. This is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about Get API method to get all the data from our database table. If I back to Code Editor, now inside this is student.php. As we had discussed about all we have about post method, put method, delete method, as well as get method. Now inside this get method, we are going to do some coding that brings all the data what we have inside our database table. Simply we can say about listing of all the data. If I back to our PHP my admin, now this is our database in the last video we had made and this is the table actually we had created. Now inside this table, we have some rows as we can see, some records we have. Now we are going to read all the data from this table and list via our API method. So if I back to code data, now let's say that as we had in the last video, we have connected our database with our application. So let me check that and this is what we have connected. Now firstly, we have to load our database inside this controller. So if I go at the topmost position and firstly, let's declare about the construct function means our constructor of this class. So let's say construct and inside this, firstly I am going to initialize about the parent constructor of this Rust controller. So let's say construct all we have done now. Now next, I am to load our database. So let's load database and inside this simply we have to load this load and database. Now this line loads our database inside this controller so that we can access about this DB instance. So if I back to our get method. So before using our this DB if I make comment this line. Now what basically we are meant to say about this load database, it will give us about the access to this DB object. So we can successfully access this object and make our query builder. So let's say this DB and we are going to simply use our active record query. So what basically we are going to write, we are going to write something select all from and the table name we have if I back to our room so this is the table name so simply where we are just going to write our simple select query so this is what we are using our active query so let's say this db select so star here for the all records now in the next we have to specify our table name so let's say this db from and inside this from method we have to pass our table name so tpl underscore students now finally we have to generate our query so let's say query equal to this db and let's say get method. Now finally after writing these three lines we had generated this query. Now finally we have to execute that. So if I write let's say echo or let's say print r and inside this if I write query and I am going to use call the result method. Now this will bring all the data what this query will take from our database table. So if I save all these changes of this file, back to postman. Now if I change about to get request type and hitting this URL, click on send button. Now as we can see that inside this response object, we have all the data what we have inside our database table. So all we are getting up to ID number 4 means 0 index, 1 index, 2 and 3, 4 records we are getting here as a response. So back to query data, let's make some formatting to this output response. So if I make comment of this line, so we have a response method. This response method basically available by using our REST controller. So if I open about the file called REST controller and search about the function, let's say function and response here. 
pressing enter now this is the response method inside this firstly we have to pass our data and second we have to pass the http code it will brings a perfect or let's say output response data so go here now as we know that inside this student controller we have inherited that or we have extended that so simply we can use call this let's say response method and inside this firstly we need to pass our data so let's say that i am to pass an array and inside this array let's say that is status equal to one let's say message equal to let's say students found and in terms of data we are just storing about all the data what we are getting from the table and inside this second parameter we have to pass our http code so as we know that we have successfully executed our query so let's say that 200 is the status code so back to postman click on send button now we have a perfect json object in which we have a status key message data as well as as we can check about the status code something 200 but this time we had written about the status code as a static value right here as a second value now we want to use about the rest controller http code so if i scroll to the top most of this file now as we can see that here lots of http code defined inside this file so we are going to use called this http ok variable but remember this is a constant variable defined inside this rest controller so how can we use that so simply let's say rest underscore controller scope resolution operator and simply we need to use about copy this variable name and pasting it here so if i save all these changes back to postman click on send button now we are getting the same data what we have seen previously so this is all about getting all the data from the table and put inside this response method and getting a proper format response also if we want to check about the number of results returned by this query results so let's say that if let's say count query data is greater than zero it means we have some data so we are going to put all the data inside this response method so let's response method else inside this else block let's say status equal to zero let's say no students found and here i'm going to use called the http let's say 404 status code so if we find about 404 and something we have called http not found so copy this key back to this controller and putting it here so if in case we have no data inside this table then this block will be executed so all we have seen about writing our queries inside this controller now let's say that we are going to just migrate our queries or let's say separate our queries via a model model is the connection where we write all the queries means database queries inside a code igniter application or any php mvc framework so as we can see here we have a models folder now inside this models folder simply we need to define a model so go inside models create a first a folder called api because we are going to separate all the models of the api section so inside this api folder let's create a file something student underscore model dot php define a php tag let's say that class student underscore model let's say extends about ci model and this is all about ci model so if i define public function means a construct function for this model so construct function so firstly i'm going to slice about our construct function of the ci model now this is now next in the line we are going to load our database inside this model so as we know the procedure to load this load and database 
So successfully now we can access about this TV instance inside this model. So back to student controller. Now next inside this controller I am to cut this all queries from here and pasting inside this method. So let's say public function let's say get underscore students and inside this method and to put all the queries and let's return query and the result method. So simply inside this student model we have defined a method which basically return all the data what we are getting from this table. Now back to student controller let's say that simply let's say students equal to and this time we are going to use student model so firstly we need to load our model inside this controller so let's say this load model and inside this as we know that we can use multiple models inside this controller so first model let's say student underscore model this is the model what we have defined right here so copy this model name scroll down to our get method and let's say students equal to simply this student model and inside this student model we had defined our method called get underscore students all we have done now so simply we need to check instead of this student variable and finally here we need to put about this students variable. So finally we have done all the needed things with this controller as well as along this model. So back to postman. Click on send button. So we have some error and this is something unable to locate the model and it's because I think that this model we have defined inside this API folder. So while declaring inside the assistant controller, we need to write something called API slash student model. So go here, click on send button. Now we are getting the same data what we have got previously. So successfully guys inside this video we had seen about the gate request type where we had got all the data from our table and make a proper format and put inside this postman. Also we have separated our controller and the model behavior where we had written about database queries. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.